Manchester City returned to the top of the Premier League table with a 1-0 win over Tottenham. Pep Guardiola's side moved back ahead of Liverpool thanks to Phil Foden's early goal. Both teams have played 34 games, with Man City now one point ahead of the Reds on 86 points. When Foden opened the scoring in the fifth minute, it was easy to wonder if we were set for another thrilling goal fest between the two sides. Sergio Aguero headed Bernardo Silva's delivery into the path of Foden, who turned the ball home for his first ever Premier League goal. The 18-year-old becomes the first player born in the 2000s to score a league goal for City. Man City held their lead into the break but it was a bittersweet opening 45 minutes for Guardiola. Kevin De Bruyne was replaced by Fernandinho shortly before half-time after going down with an apparent knee injury. The Belgian has suffered problems with his knees all season and he lasted just 38 minutes against Tottenham. Questions will no doubt be asked of Guardiola's treatment of De Bruyne after he handed him a third start in seven days. Gary Neville was on commentary duty for Sky Sports and he wondered how De Bruyne's latest setback will affect the battle between City and Liverpool for the Premier League title. That's what happens when you play Champions League on a Wednesday and a Saturday early kickoff, Neville said. With these two teams going for the title you are looking at fine margins. Guardiola confirmed afterwards that De Bruyne is expected to miss the game against Man United on Wednesday. De Bruyne has played in just 18 league matches this season for City, who will be desperately hoping he can play against this season. Next up for Guardiola's side is a huge game against Manchester United on Wednesday. <laughs>